Criminals could be in the crosshairs under a new law signed today by Ohio Governor Ted Strickland. New at 11, Tim Miller is live in downtown Toledo. So, Tim, how will this new self-defense law work? Yeah, Chris, here's how it goes. Under the current state law, if someone was trying to force their way into your home, maybe through your garage door, your front door, or maybe your windows, in order to justifiably shoot them, you'd have to later prove that you thought they were going to cause you bodily harm. But when this new law takes effect in early September, you basically be free to just fire away. Gun owners across the Buckeye State are fired up about the new law. It's called the Castle Doctrine. You won't have to prove someone breaking in is out to do you bodily harm. It will be assumed that anyone who kills or injures an intruder will have acted in self-defense. Sure, I understand uh, stealing a TV set. A TV is not as valuable as a life, but you don't know that's all that person's in there to do, and uh, you've got that right to defend your castle. Tom Urbanski runs Ski's Firearms Training in Oregon. He's also pleased the new law protects homeowners from civil suits by an intruder who survived being shot, and that it also extends to when someone attacks you at your car. Urbanski believes the crime rate will go down. It's no longer the case where you're the crook, you've got, you know you've got the gun, so you've got the advantage. Now that person you may be attacking could be able to shoot back. He says there is one downside. He expects his sales of tasers to go down as more homeowners realize they can use deadly force. In April, the Toledo-based Ohio Coalition Against Gun Violence testified before the state Senate against the bill. Executive Director Toby Hoover told us tonight, it's a message again that you can go ahead and use deadly force, and I think that's the wrong message. That shouldn't be your first avenue. Tim Miller, News 11.